Hello everybody, back again with another review. And today's review is over the DC Multiverse The Riddler from Batman Forever. As you can see, it is a part of the collectible Nightmare Bat, and you will begin the main torso of the bat along with its legs. And inside the packaging, you'll see two extra hands. Looks like it's gonna be a fisty hand and kind of an open hand. And then his little weapon of choice there, it looks like grenade i don't really know it's been a long time since i've watched the movie personally down in the comments you'll probably know so just please comment it another strange occurrence is that he's actually holding the weapon most of the time the weapon's actually off to the side and not in the actual figure's hands and also included the side of packaging you can partially see the display stand and then you're gonna get the card which is also hidden behind the bat torso on the side you're gonna see the logo for the movie the riddler and then once again the movie title moving on to the back you're gonna get a large image of nightmare bat along with what body part or part of the figures included as you can see right there and then the four other characters in this line from the movie now onto the last side you're gonna see the riddler once again and dc multiverse there at the top for those who may be searching, here at the bottom, here is the QR code. Not QR code, barcode. I always mess up on that. I don't know why. Now let's get into the actual figure. First thing included is the actual display stand. As you can see, the typical black McFarlane display stand with the DC logo there at the bottom. One foot peg here and the very thin base. Not much else to go over. We've seen it time and time again. Next is the actual build a figure piece. So the main torso of the bat, or nightmare bat that is. And I do like the texture and as well the feet and how they're done. As you can see here, you got the kind of like pinkish look, black mixed in as well. So that's very great detail for a build of figure. Most of the time seem to be pretty bland. Not too convinced on this build of figure. I feel like there probably could have been a better choice, but there also is not much else to choose from from the movie. The next small inclusion is the little bomb, or whatever this was, the little bat bomb uh, from the Riddler. Don't really know, like I said, I haven't watched the movie in a long time. But you got the question mark, and then kind of like the eyes looks like on the top of the head. Not much else going on here. And very small as well. Then you're gonna get two additional hands, one for the actual right hand, which is kind of the more open fist or open hand, like he's about to grab something. Just normal skin tone there. And then a closed fist for the left hand, as you can see. And next thing is his actual weapon. And the thing we're kind of accustomed to, the Riddler having, is his nice cane or stick, whatever you want to call it. Nice gold going on, nice texturing as well. So you can see all throughout for the grip and the little question mark here at the top it's very well done and yes it may be basic but i feel like it's really good how they made it nice and shiny and have all the grip now here is the actual figure and the reason you're all are here watching today so the face sculpt is pretty nice as you can see I feel like they did a pretty decent job at nailing actual Jim Carrey. Um, partially looks like him, but also looks a little off. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think it's pretty decent for what it is. And then you have the nice wicked hair, as you can see with the orange. So that's good to see. And kind of like a blackish or kind of a brownish mixing in to make it actually look like hair and not just be straight up orange. But yeah, definitely I think it is a pretty good face sculpt and one thing is that actually on the body and torso i wish they continued on the question marks actually for these parts as well they've done it in some figures but it seems like they skip out on others don't really know what's going on there when it comes to that because it definitely breaks up the figure and makes it look a little odd especially here in the knees as well that's where they should have included it the most um but yeah also this area so i guess not really where they should include it the most but should have been all throughout the figure and not just the main areas because it really breaks it up and makes it look odd and weird it's pretty much all uh, when it comes to this figure is just the question marks uh, it's kind of simplistic 
You actually have some green here on the top of the foot, which I just realized and barely realized because it's more of a dark green on black shoes. So it's kind of hard to see. It may look partially like brown, but it is dark green. But let's get into the actual articulation. So when it comes to the head, you're gonna be able to get full movement side to side, no issue. Go down about this much, as you can see. So decent amount, but not the best. And then going up or back, should I say, about this much. And you can do 360, no issue if you feel like doing so. Don't know why, unless you wanna make it like he broke his neck. And when it comes to the T-pose, okay, seems like for some reason, doesn't really wanna do the T-pose on the one arm. Seems to be a little lower down. So that's kind of a bummer to see right off the bat for a figure that's not really heavily armored by any means. Probably could be broken into a little more, but yeah, that one definitely uh, hangs down lower. Don't know why. And when it comes to the actual range of motion, full range of motion, no issue, nothing get in the way, as there's really nothing get in the way. And you get the bicep cut, nice motion as well, no issue. And when it comes to the actual elbow, all the way to be expected, especially for a figure just not having much detail and being very skinny. And when it comes to the actual wrist, be able to get full movement. Feels partially loose, um, more than usual. Uh, and then moving down, we're trying to get the go down that is. Be able to go down this much and then go up this much. So all the way, pretty much compared to most figures, pretty well done there on the actual wrist. And the wrist and other things seems to be a little darker brown compared to the hands. Um, so that's kind of a bummer to see and more inconsistency issues when it comes to that. And when it comes to ab crunch, we'll get him to bend back this much and then bend forward. Not much at all. Pretty much as if he's just standing straight up awkwardly thought there would be more than that then you'll be able to get motion in the upper torso then here as well around the waist full range of motion and when it comes to the splits i would hope you'll be able to do decent amount of splits a little less than normal here as well less than i thought it would do but the diaper does get in the way and when it comes to the actual knee, seems to be very tense. So slowly but surely, I'll get it there, there you go. Be able to bend it this much. Now bending it back, there you go. A lot easier than it was bending back. Foot and go down this much, and then raise up this much. And be able to do the nice side side no issue as well and then when it comes to toe, art toe articulation there you go not as much or pretty much the same as most other figures a little less than some others but that's pretty much what it is when it comes to articulation and the figure as a whole now let me get into my final thoughts when it comes to this figure i feel like the paint application is a little lackluster especially for those joint covers or whatever you want to call them not having question marks a big bummer it really takes away from the continuity of this figure and even not having the question marks on the inside of the arm is a big disappointment face sculpt i feel like it is a pretty good job for being in representing jim carrey so it's nice to see i like the nice gold texturing as well on the actual accessory i also enjoy this accessory whatever it may be don't remember like I mentioned articulation is okay but not as good as I would have thought it would have been for a character that's pretty simple like this if I were to rate this character probably have to give him maybe a 7.3 out of 10 I feel like definitely could have been a lot better if they actually simply did not become lazy and did more for the paint scheme in applying the question marks. That's going to wrap up today's review. If you did enjoy this review, please like, comment, subscribe down below for more future content. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.
Peace out.